This is a standard Stan Budenbaum spin fin tip launch glider, and it's got the standard Y tail. And when this thing yaws to the left at launch, the boom will twist this way, causing the right stabilizer to act like a larger rudder. So it, that uh, corrects for the yaw, but also causes a negative pitching moment. So this is a full one meter carbon TLG that I made. Uh, but I was crazy enough to try an F1A airfoil. You can see that it's a pretty heavily undercambered here. It's a LDA type of uh, F1A airfoil. And because of that heavy undercamber, it uh, glides great, but uh, the launch was always a big problem because that undercamber would cause a negative pitching moment. You could never get it to launch flat. So therefore, I added this inverted Y tail because in theory with the twisting of the boom as I've been saying or I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate here uh, when it tries to yaw left the sideways forces will cause the tail boom to twist this way causing the right stab half to behave like a sub rudder and uh, that will give yaw correction but it'll also give it a pitching up tendency and so you'll see from the videos uh, what happened with that experiment. Another spin fin design except this wing has under camber sanded in and in the video you're about to see it had a standard Y tail like this did not yet have this X tail. The combination of the under camber on this model along with the normal Y tail made it very hard for the glider to pitch up. It would want to uh, nose over and go straight at launch. So the next step was to replace the tail with an inverted Y tail like you see on this glider. In other words, taking the original Y tail and flipping it 180 degrees. The theory being that with this on the bottom, the tail will twist this direction this direction at launch and it'll give the glider a pitching up moment as it's skidding to the left and yawing to the left. So the inverted Y tail on this glider uh, did help it to pitch up a lot more, as you can see in the videos, but it caused it to uh, turn to the left quite a bit and uh, launches were not what I wanted to do. Uh, so I decided then the next step was to try the X tail or the, uh, we can see what I have here now in this configuration, both a vertical tail, a large uh, uh, vertical fin and rudder combined with a stabilizer. And at the same time, I added more carbon to this fuselage because these fuselages tend to bend a lot. So there's extra carbon reinforcement here at the wing uh, joint of the boom. And I, there's extra layers of unidirectional carbon and uh, carbo weave around the main boom because in this configuration, I do not want the boom to bend because if the boom stays stiffer it'll help the rudder be more effective and help the thing recover from the left yaw at launch.
lighter. The idea being to take a very stiff boom or fuselage that absolutely will not bend and couple that with the X-tail with a large rudder so that this uh, large vertical fin can uh, totally correct for the left yawing tendency and help the glider move out straighter and hopefully get higher. Uh, this is an old, a smaller wing. It's a 100 square inch uh, composite wing that I made a long time ago. Uh, again, it's some under -cabered, somewhat under cambered airfoil, so it has that pitching down tendency. But uh, so th that's why, again, maybe this would help this glider to fly better because the, the regular Y, the original Y tail it had, it flew, uh, but uh, it always had that pitching down tendency and it was launching was always a challenge. Now you notice all the carbon here on the rudder. The first version of this, the first time I threw it hard, the rudder just flew apart and split up because the, the rudder is now taking a lot more stress because you got a stiff uh, fuselage now. Uh, the boom is from uh, an F1H. Uh, so it's a, it's a aluminum carbon aluminum uh, boom and it does not move at all and I went to a uh, pop-up stabilizer configuration for this one since I didn't want any uh, flexing or there's no uh, I didn't I wanted to get rid of that um, joint at the boom and the wing so that there's no flexing on this thing at all absolutely stiff and you'll see that it uh, gave me a fairly much straighter launch than I've ever achieved